sorry if I'm whispering, my parents are sleeping. Um, and sorry if I probably look cross-eyed. I know the camera lens is this way, but I'm looking straight. Um, so I might look a little cross-eyed to you. I am technically a little cross-eyed, but shh, don't tell nobody. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna talk about um, how, <laughs> how to walk in the light of the Lord, right? Because it's so important. It's, it's so important to be bright. It's so important to um, be used by God. It's so important to, you know, um, look at the bright side of life, right? It's so important to um, understand that weeping endures for a night, but joy comes in the morning. It's so important to be a blessing and not a curse, right? To be able to bring, um, to carry with you the light and the love of God wherever you go and be an, an impact and impact people's lives with the presence of God. And how do we walk in the light, right? How do we walk in the light of God? Because where the light of God is, it means that darkness cannot exist, right? The light of the Lord vanishes the darkness. Um, the darkness does not comprehend it. It does not, it cannot stay, okay? So when, when, when the light of God is present, that means that depression has to flee, amen? That means that all types of, of confusion has to, has to be cleared up. The, the the light of the Lord brings revelation. It brings wisdom. It brings understanding. It brings clarity. It brings peace, and Ephesians chapter 5 teaches us how to exactly, or what is it, what does it mean more profoundly, um, according to scripture, uh, what it is to walk in the light of God. Amen. Um, and it says it in Ephesians chapter 5. Uh, verse 8 it says in Jesus name for you for you right us for you used to be darkness right without God but now united with the Lord you are light amen praise him somebody say amen to that all right then it says live like children of light this is what we're called to do to live like children of of light for the fruit of the light is in every kind of here it is goodness rightness and truth try to determine what will please the lord okay have nothing to do with the deeds produced by darkness but instead expose them for it is shameful even to speak of the things these people do in secret or in the dark okay when people doing are when people are doing wicked things and deceiving things and manipulating things witchcraft you know uh psychological games um you know ghosting um um you know playing with your mind emotions your spirit playing with your body uh, abusing you um, mentally, verbally, physically, you know, just trespassing against you, persecuting you, bothering you, um, being an annoyance, mocking you, scorning you, making you feel like you're nothing, like you're of no value. These things are things that they're doing in the dark, right? Because in the dark is where the enemy is. The, 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 the dark spirits are. Powers move in the darkness, right? Because they don't want to be exposed. So they try to do things in the dark. Okay, and um, but the children of light, we don't walk in the dark, we walk in the light. We like to live our life openly before the Lord, right? And that's why it's so important to be open before God because that's when He considers you, you His child. If you're a person who's hiding and who is who thinks that they're hiding, first of all, no one hides before the Lord, it's impossible. And the Lord reveals to His children the truth about those who walk in the dark okay we're called to expose it we're called to pray about it and we're called to rebuke those things amen and that is the benefit of being a child of god of walking in wisdom and um under in obedience to god because he gives us that type of authority okay that is our inheritance to be able to bind the thing and it be so to be able to loose a thing and it be so because heaven the kingdom of god will back us up 
So going back to what light is, the fruit of light, okay? When you have light, when you have the light of the Lord, you're actually walking in goodness. You don't have to feel like you have to hide or you have to be in dark. Like you're not in darkness. You're not confused. You're not, you're, you're, you're walking in goodness, okay? You're doing the good things that God wants you to do. You're stepping out and you're being bold enough to go after the good things that God wants you to do and you're completing them. Okay, you're not in darkness. You're not um, just behaving badly. Like it, it's, it pleases you to do good. It pleases you to um, be a good person for God first, right? You know, because if you're doing a, if you're trying to be a good person so that people can call you a good person, it's kind of a little bit prideful because we're nothing good, right? Um, but God is the only one that can make us good through his Holy Spirit because of the sacrifice of Jesus. So when we are humbly walking with the Lord, that is how we're actually walking in the goodness of God. But if you're living life just trying to make a name for yourself so that you could, so that you could seem like this good, amazing person, um, it's really false information because no one's perfect. Um, the only one that's perfect is Jesus. That's why we serve him, right? Has nothing to do with like, you know, trying to be religious is that we know where the goodness comes from and we want to honor that goodness and, 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 um, and live with him eternally, right? And experience him every single day here on earth. Okay. So the second part of the fruit of the light another um, proof, right, that you're walking in the light is rightness. You're concerned about doing things morally, righteously correct, okay? You have an awareness that there is an earthly standard and there's a godly standard. And your focus is daily to get to reach that godly standard. And that even though you fail, even though you might fall, even though you might stumble, even though you might get weak, even though you might get, um, you might have some type of doubt in yourself that how could I, how could I do this, right? How could I reach that godly standard? How could I walk on water? You know, how could Peter walk on water? He did. And when he started doubting is when he started sinking, right? And God, Jesus said to him, um, man of little faith, you know, um, hombre por, uh, de poca fe porque dudaste. Why, that, why did you doubt? Okay, I go to a Spanish church, but my first primary language is English, so sometimes I have to blend the two um, to understand things, but it's not to say that I'm like a G in Spanish because I'm not. I really, um, I try. But the point is, anyway, that um, God wants to, God wants us to have the faith to do the impossible, to do um, the good things that he's calling us to do, the supernatural things, to walk in the supernatural, to manifest his glory here on earth, um, and, and to have faith. Have faith that we can overcome evil with good because Christ overcame the world and what belongs to Christ belongs to us. So Peter was walking on water, right? His doubt began to, to creep in, to increase, and he started sinking. Um, but but the truth is, is that that only happened, started happening because he sunk, because he doubted. He doubted and he sunk. He started sinking, right? So the third part of this walking in the light, I'm trying to make this as brief as possible, is that the other substance or the other proof is that you're walking in the light is that you have the fruit of truth. So the truth is, is that he doubted, right? The truth is, is that there's nothing impossible for God, right? It's, it, it, there's, the, there's no other truth in that concept there, right? It wasn't, um, it wasn't the enemy, the devil that came and, 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 and pushed him. No, it was his self doubt. You know, sometimes we can't blame everything on the enemy. Sometimes we can't blame everything on our past, on the pain that people have caused us. Sometimes it's just 
you. Sometimes it's just me. And so we have to get to a place where we're bold enough and wise enough to, you know, submit our struggles to God and be honest and say, listen, I'm struggling in this specific area. You need to show me the way out because the way it's seeming right now is like, it seems like you don't love me. It seems like, God, you're distant from me. It seems like I've made too many fail, like I failed too many times. It seems like people, um, are just you know jealous or envious and they they don't want me to succeed and 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 and, and that that's all just you know really excuses because at the end of the day there's nothing impossible for God so when we walk in the light we understand that there's nothing impossible for God therefore we're moving ahead we're advancing we're advancing in the kingdom of God we're seeing God's glory we're seeing his 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 um his beauty his awesomeness his power we're seeing healing we're seeing signs and wonders but it takes your faith it takes a child of god to be brave enough and bold enough to walk in the light of god and that is in every type of goodness rightness and truth and when god sees you reading his truth God will support his word. Okay, when God sees you connecting with him, he will support his word. He will back up his word. Okay, sometimes we get a little complacent with just going to, ch to church and hearing the word, especially now with the internet, that everybody has a YouTube channel, everybody has a TikTok and is saying beautiful messages of the Bible and of God, and that's beautiful and amazing. But God is not looking just for people who are listeners, but people that are doers. And in order for you to do what the word says, you have to connect with the word. And in order for you to connect with the word, you have to read it yourself. You have to read it yourself. You have to meditate on it day and night. And when God sees you meditating on that, he will then reward you. Because God is a rewarder to those who diligently seek him. And God is the word, okay? Because in the beginning was the word, and the word was, was with God, and the word was God. So connect with the word, because it is the light of God that will show you the path to righteousness. Okay, God bless you, and I'll see you in the next video.